I hope it won't be too bad. It's better for foreign airlines. Yeah. Yeah. They're going slow. The air traffic controllers are going slow, refusing to use their computer at the moment. But it's. What is the purpose of this lightning visit to Israel, to, to Britain? <laughs> To meet with the local Jewish leadership to uh, inform them uh, about uh, Secretary Vance's visit here and about our views about uh, the coming uh, talks in uh, New York and Washington in September. It's been reported that you will meet with King Hussein. What truth is there in this? You mean the King or the Queen? King Hussein. No, nothing of this sort. No, I'm sorry that I haven't been even invited to, to meet with the Queen, which I would have loved to but nothing of this sort, like meeting with King Hussein. It came as some surprise that your visit was arranged or seemed to be arranged at the last minute. Why such a brief visit and arranged literally at the last second? Last second for whom? Probably for you, not for me. So the details of the visit were kept secret then until last night? Oh, uh, there's nothing secret, but there's nothing important. I mean, about going to London for one day, meeting with the Jewish people. This is not such, how the Americans say, big deal that uh, we should have reported the month ahead. Anyway, don't look for anything sensational. I wish there would have been something like that, but it's just one of the routine things that we want to keep in touch with the Jewish people, like Rabbi Schindler was here for the American people, and um, the, the, the best way to do it with the British Jewish community is to go over there. What will the, will the subject of the condemnation of Israel by European countries come up during your talks with Jewish leaders? The, con the, the subject of a settlement and our policy and our views of that, of course, will come up. And also the attempt of the uh, American to come to terms with the PLO and the uh, meaning of that will come up. I mean, uh, all, all uh, the element in uh, the uh, forthcoming, the, the uh, negotiation and what's going on now, of course it will come. That, that these are the problems. Will you be meeting with anybody else other than members of the Jewish community, members of the uh, British Foreign Ministry, for example? No, I'm afraid I will not. I uh, didn't ask for such a uh, meeting. It's such a short visit to London, so I didn't think it was uh, proper to do it. And I think it'll be just that. Probably I, I will uh, uh, we uh, give an interview or something for the BBC and meeting with the Jewish people and that will be all. And some uh, things, some uh, local problems will be with the uh, Israeli embassy uh, that I am as the Minister for Foreign Affairs have to deal with. Yesterday it was reported that a number of uh, Arab leaders in the West Bank were trying to organize an organization which would replace Yasser Arafat. They claim he is not a Palestinian. What is your reaction to this report, sir? I don't think I am one of the uh, Palestinian leaders and uh, got really nothing to do with me. But uh, basically speaking, I wish that the uh, local Palestinians, the inhabitants of the West Bank, would have their own uh, representative. Thank you very much, sir. הוא מוכשר מאוד, זכו היחידה והאדוקה ביותר ליחסים בינינו לבין היהדות. היחסים בינינו לבין היהדות הם מעל ומעבר לתפקיד שהם באים הנה, לנציגות שלהם, או שאישים שלנו מבקרים שם. מר דיין, האדוק ככל האפשר בשעה הזאת, שאנחנו רואים אותה כשעה חשובה, הוא משא ומתן מכריע בנושא שני החלקים, גם לדווח על מה שהיה, ולא פחות מכך. למצוא איתם שפה משותפת והבנה ותמיכה
Mishnah, I'd just like to ask one more question. It's okay, Diana. Okay. Mr. Diane, there's been a lot of talk recently about the relations between Israel and America. Confrontation, no confrontation, erosion. At this particular point, how do you view the relations between Washington and Jerusalem? I think that we do have uh, differences of views in uh, some points. Some of them are quite important points, like uh, the right of Israel to have new settlement in uh, the occupied territories, and also about the relationship between the Americans and the PLO. We do not see eye to eye in uh, these uh, points, but I wouldn't say that there is anything like confrontation. It has just been announced, I think, this morning or last night by the spokesman of the uh, State Department exactly in this world. That there are differences of views, but there is no uh, confrontation and, of course, not any course of collusion that the two parties are heading on to. So it's just natural, uh, maybe regretful, but natural, that in some major points, and there are major points, we do not see eye to eye, but we will have to live with these differences, and I think that we can live with these differences. How do you view the scenario from here on towards the peace talks, towards the proximity talks? What will happen now? I think that both, all parties, will have their foreign ministers coming in September, sometime after mid-September, to Washington and New York, and uh, they will discuss their views and submit their proposal about uh, the both substance and procedure for the, uh, uh, the, the progress of negotiation to the American Secretary of State. We shall not meet directly with one another. And uh, then we shall find out about the other parties' views and see what we can do about it. What about the Palestine Liberation Organization? This could be a stumbling block, I understand, between America and Israel. Where does this stand in the scheme of things? Just now it stands that the Americans do not ask us to recognize and accept the PLO as a party to the Geneva Peace Conference. So in uh, this point we have uh, no conflict with the Americans. But they for themselves do want to uh, talk and uh, recognize the PLO in one way or another, provided the PLO will accept the 242 resolution with some reservation, a, a formula which is acceptable for the American and uh, for which is unacceptable for us. We think that the American should not do it. I'm not talking about the relationship between us and the PLO, but between the American and the PLO, we, we uh, negotiate. I mean, Israel, the previous government, did negotiate with the American about it. And we think that they should live up to their promises. And they did promise that they will not have any contact with the PLO unless the PLO recognizes the Israeli, Israeli right to exist and accept the 242. So uh, what is uh, being proposed now by the PLO, and apparently it is acceptable by the American, we reject it. Thank you, sir. Hello.